Whether you realize it or not, your life is built on a foundation which you have constructed for yourself. So that means there are things that run the current of your life. It's like the ocean and you don't see above the water kind of what's making the water move unless it's the wind, but beneath the surface, there's strong pulls that take place, um, which cause the water to move in whatever direction it needs to go. And that's how our lives are as well. And if we don't establish a strong, firm foundation, then we run the risk of crumbling, right? Just like if you actually do build a foundation that is sturdy and strong, then you can withstand just about anything. And I'm going to read a little bit from the book of Matthew, chapter 7. Now this chapter um, is divided into different things that the Lord Yeshua um, is sharing with the crowd, right? Um, this particular passage that I'm about to read um, is part of the Sermon on the Mount, which begins in chapter 5, but I'm not going to go uh, that far because um, I'm focused on something different right now. But I do recommend that if you're going to read anything and you just want to keep it kind of quick, uh, start in chapter 5 and kind of make your way through it. But I'm more focused here um, on the latter part of chapter 7. And here... I'll start in verse 24. Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on a solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the flood waters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it, because it is built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. And then when Yeshua had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, for he taught with real authority, quite unlike their teachers of religious law. Now, this is a very simple teaching, right? Um, and it's not made up uh, because this is very practical and can be easily understood, right? So you've got two builders and they've both set out with a dream, right? To build a house, whether it's a real home, right, or it's something along the lines of building, uh, whether it's a relationship, uh, a career, you know, whatever the case may be, we're all builders here, right? So doesn't mean that we need to go and build our home with our own hands, but you want to build a family, you want to build a marriage, right? So these two people have set out to build. One of them is building on solid rock, while the other one goes and builds on sand. Now, right away you can start to see that the one who's building on sand has a different foundation, right? A much more weak one than the one that's building on rock. And here the Lord is saying, that the 
the storms are gonna come, right? And the home that is built on the rock is not going to collapse and fail. Unlike the counterpart who's gone out on the sand, right? They will suffer greatly. We're all going to face the storms of life. It's not a matter of if we will, it's when will we, right? It's for sure. We're all going to have them come at us. Either sometimes we can see them from afar off and, and prepare, and sometimes they're very sudden. It's like it's a sunny day in the forecast and then boom, the thunderstorm comes and uh, wrecks everything, right? So we need to ask ourselves, right? What is my life built upon? Is it built on material things, right? Is it built on vanity, pride? Is it built on faith? Is it built on a relationship with the Lord? What is the quality of the foundation upon which I'm building my life, right? Because we can prepare from now for those storms to come, for when they do show up, right? We're all going to experience different losses, whether it's our health, a loved one, uh, I don't know, a job, anything, right? We're all susceptible to these storms of life. Nobody escapes them, whether, no matter how rich or poor you are, right? And it's really about what are you doing in the here and now, right? Each day, where do you put your focus, right? Are you consumed by things and prioritizing matters that hold emptiness, right? Or are you cultivating habits and living with purpose? That's how we start to build our foundation, right? We have to take an inventory of what is it that I am building with here, right? Like what's in my toolbox? Right? What equipment am I working with? Because we all desire things in our life, right? We all want a relationship, you know, to some extent. We all want to be successful in the things that we pursue, right? We want to feel good about ourselves, you know, and just the impact that we have in the world right? Nobody really sets out to destroy their life, right? It's not like I wake up and I'm like, yeah, today I'm just going to go ahead and make a whole mess of things and uh, destroy myself because, you know, that's what really uh, makes me feel good. It's like, no, we can find ourselves on a destructive path, sometimes with good intentions even. That's why we have to be very careful about, you know, the choices we make, the company we keep, right? The things that we remain focused on, the priorities, you know, that we've put in place for ourselves. Um, we need to really be very mindful and reflect upon like the choices and the, the benefits and the consequences of the things that we set out to do, right? We cannot live indifferent to Oh, well, it doesn't matter if, um, if, if, you know, if such and such happens or I don't care about this. It's like, no, we need to be very almost uh, militant, right? About, like, we got to have a strategy in place. It's kind of like we're out to war here, right? And I'm not trying to say it in this, like, doom and gloom kind of way, but realistically speaking we are up against a lot of forces in this world right it's warfare taking place and many times it's on a very spiritual level that's why it just goes over over people's head all the time because they cannot uh not that they can't but they just choose not to uh be informed about the fact that like there are entities, 
you know, without bodies in this world um, that are the spirits, right? That basically cause a lot of evil, division, corruption, greed, things like that. You know what I mean? Um, it sounds very made up and fictitious, right? That's why a lot of people don't pay attention to this type of thing. They're like, well, you know, I'm just dealing with my day-to-day -day stuff, with what I see. Um, I don't have time for spiritual talk, mumbo jumbo type stuff. Um, that's just too far removed from me. Um, I got bills to pay. I got a job to work. I got raised some kids uh, and, you know, and whatnot, right? But we need to be positioned here strategically, right? To be able to withstand, you know, the pending storms that are coming our way. And we don't know the magnitude of them. Some are going to be small, right? And others will be colossal, right? We don't know. But if we're not built on a solid rock, then you have no other choice but to be swept away when the storms do come. It's just that simple, right? Like we need to identify what is the root in our life. Like what are the roots? strong relationship with the Lord, uh, a strong knowing of who you are in the midst of this world, right? that's very important. Uh, if your root, right, is the love of money, then you know what they say, the love of money is the root of all evil, right? It's, it's not the love, um, it's not that money is the root of all evil, it's the love of money that is the root of all evil right? It's the love. Or love for yourself to the point where you don't care about others. Is that the root of your life, right? The root determines the fruit. That's basically what it is. So I really encourage people to regularly, you know, examine what is it that is the undercurrent of their life. Like what's driving them to certain things. You have to give these this some thought you know what i mean because that is from the place where you're going to uh do the things you do right pursue the pursuit of the things that you're going to go after right the way you're going to feel about yourself you know the way um you going to interact with others it all ties in together this is not uh like a futile exercise where you go out and do something and you know just for the for the heck of it right there's actually merit to doing this um so look at like what does your life at this moment consist of what are your uh your your patterns your focus you know where does all your attention go your energy your efforts right and then from that you're going to quickly realize what is it that's really driving your life and like Yeshua said here right that anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise right but we do have the choice to be foolish uh, so no one's taking that away from us well it's important to, um, to to reflect upon this and that's why I share what I do uh, in terms of like the things that uh, are laid on my heart and and you know the, just I want to bring people to a closer understanding of of the Lord um, and what he requires of us and to really make it relevant to our life because truthfully like all of this here that um, I share uh, I do the best that I can to make it very practical, very simple and straightforward so that it's not all like pie in the sky type of thing, right? Um, I'm trying to do my best to show how this is very relevant to the life that you're living, right? So until next time, God bless and amen.